In this video, we're going to show you how you can personalize your YouTube channel by pointing the URL that you purchased from a domain server like GoDaddy directly to your YouTube channel. How awesome is that? All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is log in to your domain provider. So in my case, it happens to be GoDaddy that I'm going to be logging into. And you'll want to go into your DNS editor. There's going to be a lot of cool things in here. If you've messed around with DNS editing, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of things you may or may not understand. However, uh, they're pretty easy to change. And I'm going to show you how to change some of these logs in here. The first thing you're going to want to look at is your... A record. Your A record is the main record that your URL is pointing to. So we're going to type in 45.55.72.95 and that's going to redirect your A record. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new record which is going to be a TXT record which is a text record and this text record is going to tell the URL where to point. So it's going to redirect that URL. So we're going to type in underscore redirect and all of these instructions will be down in the um, description below. So if you can't see the video or you just want to be able to copy and paste, you can certainly do that. But you're going to type in underscore redirect and then over in the value, you're going to tell it where to point to. So we're going to type in where it redirects to. So this is where we're going to need to be able to get our URL from YouTube. We need to know where it's going to point to. And we're going to hop over to YouTube and find that URL. So we go to YouTube and we're going to find our channel, which in this case happens to be Shelly Buck. The YouTube channel will be at the top in the address bar and you're going to want to copy that. You're going to take that and paste it to the end of that value there. And then we're just going to hit save so that it goes ahead and updates our DNS record. So now it will actually point to the Shelly Buck YouTube channel if you type in ShellyBuck.com. But what if somebody types in www.ShellyBuck.com? Just in case, you want to go ahead and change what's called the C name. So we're going to edit the www C name. We're just going to click on edit in this case. And in that www, we're not going to change the name of it because that's where it's going to point. But over under value, we're going to change it from ShellyBuck.com to the alias redirect. So we're going to type in alias.redirect.name. And we're going to save that DNS record. And then we're going to go back in and we're going to create another text record. And we're going to put in our underscore redirect for the text record, just like we did when we changed the A record, which is the primary address. And in the value, we're going to do a very similar thing here. Uh, that we did before and we're going to copy and paste the YouTube URL once we have it typed in here. Copy that. And we're going to go back over to our domain settings. And we'll paste that in there and then we're going to get hit save. And that should have us all updated. So now we got to check and see if it actually works. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for these things to propagate, but uh, I like to check it right away just to see if it's working. So let's, uh, let's hop on over to our address bar there. We're going to type in ShellyBuck.com. And when we hit enter, guess what? It pops right up to the YouTube channel, which makes a direct link for people to go to your visit your YouTube videos. How awesome is that?